Hello, welcome to the AFCON series. So on the AFCON series, where we are going to preview all the countries at the 2023 Africa Cup of Nations, we, we tell you our expectations on these countries. So at least you are prepared for the AFCON. Now for today's edition, well, we start with Guinea-Bissau. Guinea-Bissau is obviously enjoying its peak in African football. So the country actually qualified to the AFCON for the first time in 2017. But since 2017, well, they've qualified to every single edition. They were there in 2017, that was in Gabon. They also there in 2019, that was in Egypt. They also present in 2021 in Cameroon. And then now in La Côte d'Ivoire in 2023, the Guinea-Bissau national team is also present. Let me tell you an interesting fact, which might be difficult to believe. So since 2017, well, Guinea-Bissau have made more appearances at the AFCON than countries like Nigeria, more appearances than South Africa, more appearances than Zambia, more appearances than Burkina Faso, and even more appearances than DR Congo. Yeah, that's how consistent they've been in the last four editions on the AFCON. But despite all these appearances, well, they have actually exited in the group stages in all their last three appearances. 2017 group stage exit, 2019 group stage, 2021 group stage. So this made their fourth appearance. Of course, the prayer their hopes is to go beyond the group stage for Guinea-Bissau this time around. So Guinea-Bissau actually qualified to the AFCON by finishing second place in their group. They were actually in group with Nigeria, also in group with Sierra Leone, and also and group with South Tome and Principe. And they're actually the only team to beat Nigeria in the qualified. So second place in the group, that's where they finished. And that led them to qualify into the 2023 Africa Cup of Nations. So Guinea Bissau is actually a colony of Portugal. And I think they're one of the countries who have actually made full advantage on this fact too. A lot of the players who are invited into the Guinea Bissau national team actually play not at the high level in Portuguese football, but then they have a bit of experience playing in lower tier football in Portugal and they bring that on board to the Guinea Bissau national team, which of, of course been a huge boost to the national team. So so as of making this video yet, the official squad for Guinea Bissau was not out. But I'm going to highlight a few players who we expect to definitely be in the Guinea Bissau team, if not for any injuries or probably disciplinary issues with the coaches or any other technical member, we expect these players to be present at the AFCON. Number one player to highlight for Guinea Bissau is, of course, the legend. The man is already a legend in Guinea Bissau, and he goes by the name Piketty. So, Piketty was actually a youth player for Portugal. He played for Portugal at the under 17 stages, but also transitioned in 2015 and then naturalized to play for Guinea Bissau. So, since naturalizing, he has played at three AFCONs. So, all the AFCONs Guinea Bissau have played, Piketty has been present over there, and he's also the second all time scorer. Of Guinea Bissau. He's got seven goals for the national team and there's only two goals behind the all time top scorer who has nine goals. And he'll be hoping that by the end of Afcon 2023, well, it will be Piketty who will be, of course, the man with the most goals in the history of Guinea Bissau. Piketty is, however, nearing the end of his career and there are lots of young players in Guinea Bissau who, of course, coming up. So it's going to be difficult for getting minutes for Piketty, but of course, you expect him to be present in the squad with his experience and everything available and also to get some minutes and add some quality to the Guinea-Bissau national team. Next to be highlighted for Guinea-Bissau is Selton B.I. and he is actually the goalkeeper for Guinea-Bissau. Selton was actually tipped to be probably the next biggest goalkeeper in Portugal at a point in time. He has already gotten a call-up for the Portugal senior national team. Now in March 2023, he got a call-up and also in June, he played with Portugal's under-21 side at the 2023 Euros under-21. Uh, but I think they were in the quarterfinal. Yes, they lost to England in the quarterfinal. But okay, just after that tournament, well, he announced that he was naturalizing for Guinea Bissau. That was a shock actually to the footballing world. But he's available now. He's already played some matches for Guinea Bissau and he's available for selection for the AFCON. And he plays for Victoria Setubo in Portugal's Liga. He's one of the Guinea Bissau players playing at the highest level. So I've counted this kind of experience. We expect him to be named for the Guinea Bissau team. Also, be very very crucial to the uh, tournament at the AFCON 2023. The next player to be highlighted is, I think probably the biggest player in Guinea Bissau, and he goes by the name Mama Baude. <laughs> Mama Baude started playing in Portugal 
uh, before the naturalizing to play for also Guinea Bissau. He plays for Olympic Lyon in the French Liga and last season he was playing for Olympic Troy where he scored 12 goals and also 4 assists in the French Liga. I mentioned also earlier on that Guinea Bissau were the only side to beat Nigeria in the AFCON qualifiers and the man who scored that goal to beat Nigeria was no other than Mama Baudi. So, I mean, in terms of experience, in terms of how big a player can get, nobody is bigger than that in Guinea Bissau. What is actually much more scary about this Guinea Bissau team is that majority of the players in the team started playing grassroots football in Portugal. So they have a collective understanding of football as a whole and they also can play together as a unit. And this can be very dangerous to any side who underrates this Guinea Bissau team. So Mukundi Ka is a former Guinea Bissau player. He was available when they made the AFCON debut. He's now retired though, but then his wet before the AFCON was. It is mandatory for Guinea Bissau to move to the knockout stages of the AFCON. So that is the hope of Guinea Bissau to go beyond the group stages. That is the target they've set for this AFCON. But considering that they are in group with the host nation, that's the Ivory Coast, Nigeria also, who were 2013 AFCON winners, and also Equatorial Guinea, who themselves can worry a lot of teams. It's, ki it's kind of very difficult for us to predict Guinea Bissau to make it beyond the group stages. The prediction, unfortunately, was neglected for Guinea Bissau.